All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It's time for my review of this knife, which is actually my second time doing the review of this knife, because the first time I did it, before the video was over, I stepped on the power cord and unplugged it, and it never saved the eight or nine minutes worth of review I had done. But anyway, so we're doing this again. This is the Kaiser Comet, guys, and this is the Knives Fast channel. And what's so cool about this channel is you guys. You make it fun for me. Uh, and you are the ones that support the channel to the degree that companies like Kaiser feel led to send me knives to check out, like this one, the Comet. Uh, so guys, definitely make sure you're subscribed, stick around, like, comment, all that good stuff. Hit that notification bell and join us for a live stream because uh, that's where the fun really happens. Monday night, 745. Now this is the Kaiser Comet. It is a Paul Munko design. Paul really knows what he's doing. 2.87 inches. Um, and again, it is in 154 cm with brass and micarta on a steel liner. And we will talk about that right now. This is uh, the Comet. Very small knife, as you can see in my hand. Um, very thin, very small, mostly uh, captured down inside the handle, which is great. You have brass uh, bolsters here um, and micarta, linen micarta that lays on top of exposed full liners that are not, uh, they don't, um, uh, what's the word, Casey? They're not shadow box, they're flat, they're flush. Uh, you do have um, satin hardware. You have a satin uh, titanium clip that has about that much sticking out and is not reversible. Sorry, lefties. Uh, you do have a lanyard hole there and a single uh, barrel spacer on the back. Very open with lots of milling for weight reduction. There you go. You can kind of see it there. Um, this is a full liner uh, knife. By the way, uh, flat scales, but we do have uh, some really nice, all right, we got to move a couple things. We're fighting focus again. Uh, there we go. With really nice chamfering to make it feel a little more contoured. Uh, guys, this is a four finger knife and I'm not, I have enough room to relax where I'm not crammed up against that flipper tab. So it feels good. You can land right here on this jimping uh, like so with a pinch grip, or you can come out here on this mostly flat spot that happens before the swedge, uh, which the swedge is great. Uh, you do have a beautiful satin finish blade, um, gorgeous, gorgeous flipper only knife. You have about 50% lockup. The knife is dead centered. Uh, we do have yeah, we're locked up great. No lock rock or blade play. Uh, we're riding on bearings, guys. And this detent is absolutely dialed. I mean, just dialed. Um, and it's on bearings, of course, so very nice. There we go. Um, my one little nitpick, um, this jimping right here is great. Uh, grabs a hold of you like crazy, but the jimping on the flipper tab is a little smoother. I just wish that was a little smoother, but uh, it works. I mean, guys, the D10 is good. If you're going to do that on a knife, do it on one where it doesn't really matter. You got the corner of that flipper, and it just grabs a hold of your finger and lets that blade out. Great access to the lock bar. There isn't... Um, uh, a chamfer on the lock bar. So after doing that a few times, uh, you will kind of get a little indention, but it doesn't hurt that much. It moves pretty easy. Um, doesn't hurt at all, really. It just moves easy. Uh, by the way, you do feel the clip in your grip, uh, but it's not a hot spot. You can relax your hand and it feels fine. Um, how does this guy cut? Let's just see. Uh, very, very nicely. As you can see, a very thin flat ground blade, even though it's not very tall, uh, they got it down. Now, the one little nitpick here is that um, the plunge is still happening right there at the end of the sharp, beginning of the sharpening choil. Um, so you will probably end up with a smile after a sharpening or two. Not a huge deal, but definitely something to keep in mind for those of you uh, that are a little more uh, picky sharpeners, if you will. Um, again, good size. I, you know, for me, it could always be just a might bit bigger, but for most of you, uh, you guys probably will absolutely love this. I'm really glad I got, got to check it out because Paul just really does some fantastic work with his designs and Kaiser really killed it. Thank you, Kaiser, 
for sending this one for me to check. Now, uh, on the Rat 1, you can see the Rat 1 is a little, quite a bit bigger. The Rat 2 is still a little bit bigger. Um, so this is definitely a smaller knife. I'm trying to think what else could I show you guys. Um, let's, I tell you what, I bet you what's fairly similar lengthwise is maybe the Devo Lush. Yep, I'm pretty close. There you go. Or, of course, uh, the upcoming Tempest Knives uh, Micro Jet. You can see 7-inch knife right at about the same size. But you can see of the three, the Comet is the uh, least tall of the three. It is definitely very sleek. Um, and, and that comes through in the hand. And it feels really nice. Uh, especially for those cutting tasks. All right, so the thing is, guys, these, a lot of people gripe at me for when stuff isn't available. These are available. You can get them at Amazon. You can get them at Blade HQ. You can get them on Kaiser's website. I'm reading this one currently off Amazon, and I'll leave the link below. Uh, it is $85. And um, let's see. Actually, I'm not going to go off Amazon because I can't ever find the specs. So we're going to go over here to Blade HQ. And they are $85. Uh, the three versions there are uh, the copper with the black micarta, uh, the brass with the green micarta, which is what you got here, and a uh, red denim with dark brass. Um, now, this guy is $85. Oh, wait, there's another one. There's, ooh, it's out of stock, though. There's a uh, denim blue micarta with a black bolster. Ooh, that's sold out, though. Uh, this guy right here is, again, $85. The specs on it are 6.9 inches, 3-inch blade, uh, 2.9 inch cutting edge, 0 0.10 on that very thin stock. Um, the handle thickness is 0.5, so really good. 3.10 on the weight, designed by Paul Munko, as I said. So really, really cool. And it is right hand only. So lefties, I'm sorry, 154 cm. Um, oh, and the handle length is 3.94. So again, but you always have to remember, guys, I say 3.94, but don't forget you're going to be behind that flipper tab. So it's actually only three and a quarter behind the flipper tab. So that's why when people say, okay, see, that's almost a four inch handle. Why are you saying it could be a little bit bigger? Um, yeah, because you're behind the flipper tab, okay? So it does come all the way out to the end, but my finger has a place to land. So we are good to go. So no problems there uh, at all because of that uh, fact that we do have a place, um, you know, enough room for my finger there. So very, very cool. That is the Kaiser comment. Thank you, Kaiser, for sending this, guys. I will leave link or links below to places to get this one. Um, definitely consider it. I'm way more impressed than I thought I would be. Um, the snappiness of this one is what really wins me over. It is incredibly snappy and just incredibly well done. By the way, the transitions between the scale materials are wonderful. So really great knife. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and like and comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And guys, thank you for your support. And thanks to Kaiser again for sending this. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.